Welcome. How to build a Mediterranean lounge chair. Mediterranean lounge chairs are staples at fancy resorts in Greece, Italy, France and just about any other place where stylish seaside hotels abound. Learn how to build your own, and soak up the sun in your own backyard at a fraction of the price. Instructions. Things you'll need. 2 2 by 6 boards. 1 2 by 4 board for legs. 1 2 by 2 board. 120 foot long 1 by 2 board. Measuring tape. Pencil. Wood screws. Screw gun. Bandsaw. Sandpaper. Stain or varnish. Paintbrush. Wood putty. 1. Create a drawing of the Mediterranean lounge chair with graph paper and a ruler for an accurate schematic. The drawing should include all of the important dimensions, such as length, height, width and a point for the raised back of the chair. Standard dimensions are 7 feet long, 14 inches high, 24 inches wide with a raised back 3 feet from the end of the chair. You can customize the length, width and height to fit your body better. 2. Cut the 2 by 4s to 14 inches, or whatever height you specified on your diagram, if you are customizing your chair. 3. Cut the 1 by 2 boards to create wooden slats. You can make the chair as wide as you like to fit your size. Smaller people may want to use 24-inch slats and larger people may want to use 36-inch slats. However, if you choose to use wider slats, you may have to build extra stability into the center of the chair by adding a leg and rail to the middle of the chair. 4. Draw a pattern on the 8-inch side of the 2 by 8s. This pattern is for the rails on the sides of the Mediterranean lounge chair. The pattern on the boards can follow the curves of your body or you can use straight rails. Cut the boards down to correct size with the bandsaw. 5. Lay the rails out on a level surface. Use the measuring tape and pencil to mark each rail every 2 and 1 half inches along the top of the rail. You should have a line at 2 and 1 half, 5, 7 and 1 half, 10, 12 and 1 half and 15 inches, and so forth. 6. Use 1 1 slash 2 inch wood screws to attach the 1 by 2 slats to the rails according to the marks. The first slat should line up with the very end of the rails. You should have a 1 slash 2 inch gap between each slat. Build in a 1 inch overhang with the slats. For example, if the slats are 24 inches long, the outer edges of the rails should be 22 inches apart. 7. Build in an upright back using 2 by 2s. Instead of attaching slats to the rails near the top of the rails, cut and install 2 by 2s to the inside of each rail where you will sit up on the chair. You will only use one screw to attach each 2 by 2 at the bend point on the chair. Use another section of the 2 by 2 board to create the support for the chair back by attaching it to the side and the rail. 8. Attach the legs on the inside of the rail at each end with wood screws long enough to go 1 inch deep into the legs of the chair. Use two screws at the side and front slash back of the legs. Each leg should attach with four screws. 9. Cover the exposed screws with wood putty. Sand the entire chair until all of the surfaces are smooth. 10. Apply the stain or varnish and a water sealant to protect your Mediterranean lounge chair. Tips and warnings. Apply a water sealant to the wood to protect the chair for years of outdoor use. Countersink the screw slightly on the chair, make sure the head of the screw is lower than the surface of the wood. This will ensure you don't catch any clothing on raised screws. The curves of the rails must match to make the chair comfortable. You can create a template for both rails or cut one rail and then use it as the template for the second rail. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.